Do you know what? It's been five months since we got together. It only feels like yesterday. And in that time, we've been on holiday together, took walks along the beach, watched the sunrise, and you've stayed consistent, reliable, and you still look as good as the day we first met. So do you know what? In the words of Beyonce, I think it's time to put a ring on it. A double espresso ring to be precise. That's right guys, I finally got it. The Nanopresso Barista Kit. We're talking double shots, twice the water capacity and a ton of awesome accessories. So let's unbox it and show you what's inside. Now I'm assuming you've already seen my original Nanopresso video. So on the top we've got a nice lid that looks a lot like the Nanopresso Porter filter but obviously without the hole. Then we've got a single filter basket that comes with another lid on it. Then the all important double espresso ring guys. We've got a coffee tamp. And then not one but two double shot baskets with lids. I'm so so glad I've got two of these. And then you've got the larger water tank and the espresso cup that just fits nicely on the underside of it. Now, just like the Nanopresso, these components are just so well made. The, the machine quality and the way that they all fit together so nicely just really shows that a lot of thought has been put into this design. Right, so that's a look at the Brisker kit. Now let's transfer the components over onto the Nanopresso. What we need to do is take the porter filter off the Nanopresso, get rid of the single basket, won't be needing that no more. Then we just screw the double espresso ring on and it fits so well, it really does. And then we've got the space that we need for the double espresso filter basket and then the port filter just fits back onto the top. Now one of the downsides is with using it with the double shot adapter is that it's not gonna fit into the original case. It's just a little bit too long. Now I did ask a question and they're bringing out a longer case in 2018, but in the meantime, I think it works well with the original case and let me just demonstrate why. If you take the cup off the bottom, now it doesn't matter if you're using the small cup or the big cup, this portion, you've got one of your double shot baskets in there already, that is gonna fit nicely like that. You then can take your second double shot, drop that in. Now look at that, that fits perfectly. So in there I've got my Nanopresso with the double espresso adapter fitted and the spare basket. I've got two baskets in there, brilliant. This part, originally when I saw these two components, I thought to myself, why have they gone to so much bother to make two components that don't really get used on the Nanopresso? But, look at this. What have I done with the temp? Here it is. This can fit in the top and be closed in watertight. And then you've got a small water tank and a big water tank. Let's say I'm going out on my own. It's a small hike and I'm gonna make a double shot, which I can make with this. I take that along, and I've got a vessel there that I can put my coffee in. Or, if I'm planning on making two shots together, perfect. I've got a sealed unit there, and I've got my case there. If you can't wait till 2018 for the longer case, and you don't like my idea of using them both, which I think works brilliant, because you've got to put your coffee somewhere, haven't you? Then what you can do is go and buy the mini presso case, which is just the right size for the Nanopresso with the double espresso adapter ring on and a small water tank. So you've got that option as well, which is pretty cool. Dude. Oh, you got bad breath, Baxter. Right guys, so that's the product. Now I'm just gonna to talk to you a bit about using it. With the Brister kit, and the ring installed, you've got two options. You've got the small water tank and the big water tank. Now, yesterday 
I was crunching numbers, I had my digital scales and I was weighing the water going in, weighing the extraction that came out. And I don't know if they did this by luck or it's probably by design. You can get make two double shot espressos with that and you can make one double shot espresso with the small tank, which I think is perfect. Some people might like an under extracted shot and some people like an over extracted shot. I think it's a risotto and a lungo. I don't know the terms to be honest or how to pronounce them, but basically if you wanted to over extract a double shot, you would have to use this. Um, personally, I don't because it makes it more bitter and acidic. So I, if I want to add more volume to my drink, I'll pour a double shot with this. So that's one full extraction. And then I'll add water if I'm making an Americano rather than over extracting with this. And then obviously if you like a richer, sweeter espresso, then you would under extract it, which basically means you wouldn't fill this all the way to the top and extract it fully, you'd stop depending on your preferred flavor. So there's that. Now previously to getting the Brista kit, I have to admit, and I'm sorry to say this love, but I was cheating on you. Only in the mornings with my AeroPress. The reason is a single shot of espresso is lovely. Tastes great, no problems at all. But it's like a small glass of red wine. It's just not enough sometimes. So in the morning, I was getting 16 to 20 grams of coffee in my AeroPress and making a nice black Americano. Delicious. But with a double shot from that, you can make a perfect black Americano. You can make a cappuccino a latte, a flat white, because basically if you go into a coffee shop and you get a medium cappuccino or latte, you're getting double shot. If you get a large in a coffee shop, you're getting a triple shot. So really a single shot is not gonna make you a substantial enough drink beyond a single shot espresso. the cold days when you get the best mornings. Bags, come on. Right, this is my bag of goodies. Not including the little fresh almond croissant I bought on the way here. Right, so let me show you what I've got in here. So I brought the barista kit um, done up like I showed you earlier in the video. So in the bottom here, I've got a coffee scoop and some kitchen roll, because I'm gonna have to give it a wipe over, no doubt. And then in the top, I've got my tamp. Here's my little setup that I showed you earlier. So I've got the top, I've got a spare basket there, like that. Now, for coffee, I've got this little tasty number. Usually I've been buying it online. I can't remember the name of the company I've been using. Anyway, I was out walking the dog and I come across this European market in one of the towns and there was a guy and uh, all he had was coffees. He had about a dozen different types and I asked him when was it roasted and he said this week. So this is a week old um, roast and it's Sumatran dark and he reckons that it was his favourite out of them all so I thought I'd give it a go and it is a nice coffee. Got my ceramic mill. This is a, called a Hario mill and uh, there's adjustment there on the bottom and what that allows you to do is just dial in your grind. So obviously this is an espresso, so you want a quite a fine grind. But um, that's something that you have to just toy around with yourself. But if you haven't got a decent grinder, a ceramic mill, then I highly advise you get one if you want to get the best out of this product. The Nanopresso has got a pressurized porter filter. Now that just gives you a bit of flexibility on your grind. Um, you can use shop brought pre-ground coffee that's quite cool and it will still work nice in this. But if you plan on um, really dialing in, in your grind, you can remove a little piece of plastic in there and then it's non-pressurized and that is gonna give you um, more options to get your grind down finer 
uh, it's sort of pro mode so for those um, baristas out there or wannabe baristas you get get a nano presso presso take the clip off and what you've got is a non press press non press pressurized my lips are too cold to talk <laughs> non pressurized port filter okay but I'm leaving it on for now now you might be thinking hold on he's out in the middle of the woods what's he gonna do to heat the water up my own cook kit and that consists of a titanium mug a smaller mug inside I've got a windshield in there alcohol and then this little beauty that is my homemade alcohol stove it weighs absolutely nothing and it works perfectly if you enjoy having coffees outdoors and you want to know how to make one of these let me know in the comments below and I might demonstrate it it's pretty cool There we go guys, the water's on. Right, so what I've got here is a nice double shot and I'm just going to turn it into an Americano. By adding some uh, extra hot boiling water. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Now all that's left to do is drink it, eat my croissant and just uh, enjoy nature. <laughs> what? What? No. Now that's what you call a puck. The puck pops out perfectly and it's super easy to rinse. When you get home, just give it another rinse under the tap and then just leave it to air dry, okay? So guys, that's another look at the Nano Presso, but this time with the uh, Barista Kit uh, Double Espresso Ring installed. If you already own a Nano Presso and you don't have a Barista Kit, my advice is go buy one. Now, if you don't own a Nano Presso yet, buy the Barista Kit bundle. Product links to the description. Links to the products are in the description below. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's not too long. I did actually want to make it longer. I wanted to go through some different types of coffee that you can make with the uh, Nano Presso with the Barista Kit installed. And um, just go over some tips and tricks that I've learned over the last five months. So I'll save that for another video. Perhaps I'll get the uh, Nespresso adapter pod uh, and demonstrate that on a future video. I oh, want the non-pressurized mode as well. But guys, thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, leave me comments below. I love to respond to your comments. If I don't speak to you again before Christmas, Merry Christmas, bye. Can you see bats in the background just <laughs> looking for squirrels? <laughs> bats! Is it a squirrel? Oh, you are joking me. You found water. Oh, you. Man, you're soaking wet.
What is he? Puppy. Is he a squirrel? Is he a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs>